everybody, this is Rocky. Uh, I am here with a grocery haul. I just went to a central market here in San Antonio and I got my food for the week. So first thing I got was um, you know, another bag of these hard boiled eggs. And I hope the lighting's okay, I'm sorry if it's kind of, there we go. Uh, Eggland, um, Eggland eggs. And um, I usually put like one of these on top of my vegetables so I'm trying to get more protein in. So for lunch what I'll do is I'll slice up an egg and then I'll put it um, on top of my, my mixed vegetables, which these are the mixed vegetables that I'm talking about right here. So I got, I think, three or four bags of these guys for the week. And uh, what's in them is carrots, corn, green peas, green beans, and lima beans. So I got two, three, three, three bags. There might be another bag in there, I don't know. Um, I got another uh, container of the Tofuti uh, sour cream to put on, well, pretty much everything. I put it on like my beans and rice or whatever. Rich is gonna make me, my birthday is coming up, so Rich is gonna make me um, the cheesecake that I've made before, and I actually have a video for it, so if anybody's interested, I'll put the link um, in the down bar. But he's, he was asking me, I kind of teased him, because I was like, are you gonna make me a cake? Which, for the past couple of years, I haven't had cake, so he, he was just kind of like joking back, like, well, if I made one, would you, would you eat it? And I was just like, thinking that I've been wanting to make this for a couple weeks now, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So I was like, well, you can make the cheesecake that I make. So I'm excited. So I got uh, a couple of these um, Philadelphia fat-free cream cheese, just two of them. And um, I got, it also calls for eggs. So I got uh, egg beaters. And the silken tofu soft i made a dip last week the, this french egg and i didn't get to record it because that's when like i was going through all these problems with my uh laptop so i hadn't had this set up yet but i made it last friday night oh, it was so good i just caramelized a bunch of like onions for i don't even know how long maybe 45 minutes until they got nice and brown i put garlic on there i put uh, worcestershire i put salt pepper and mix that into um, this, I put it like in the uh, food processor after the onions were done. Come on, here we go. Um, and it came out so good. It made such a really good dip. So this week what I'm going to do is make a spinach dip. So I got this again. Um, I forgot where I got this one from. Um, and I got a package of chopped spinach, frozen spinach. And I got this uh, Nor vegetable recipe. Focus. There we go. So I'm going to use this, and then there's um, I'm also going to use some water chestnuts. And that'll be our little munchies. Well, my munchies for um, Friday night, because Rich is allergic to soy, sadly enough. Um, I got some more jalapeno bread and butter pickles. These are so good. They're nice and... Not, they're nice and spicy, not too spicy, but they have like a little bit of sweetness too. So what I do is, like I said, I'm trying to get more protein in. So for lunches, what I'll do is I'll just open up a can of tuna and put some of these on there. And then that's it. There's no mayo or anything. I just eat it like that. No crackers. It's actually really tasty. Um, I got these baking cups so Rich can make my little mini cheesecakes. Two cans of tangle tuna, chunk light, because I got a couple of other cans in the... Um, in the pantry for some of my lunches this week. And then for the cheesecakes, um, I got this low sugar strawberry jelly. There we go. Smucker's low sugar. And then, so excited for this, uh, Sally, look what I found. I found it. If it focuses, Shanadal. So she was telling me about this Cabernet Queen Sally on here. She was telling me that um, this is a new kind of lentil that's coming through to the U.S. It's really popular in India, and it's uh, really good because it's low on the glycemic index. So I'm really excited to, I'm not really sure what exactly I'm going to make out of it yet, but I'm excited to experiment. So we shall see. I, I didn't think they had it at first because I went through like the bulk aisle and didn't have it. And then I was looking through the regular like, you know, prepackaged bean aisle and I, Almost gave up, but then for some reason I looked at another like shelf again, and there it was. And 
it was funny because I was coming back to like find Rich in a different aisle and he was actually asking one of the workers there, one of the employees there, if they had it and she's like, I never even heard of it. So luckily I found it because asking them wouldn't have, helped, wouldn't have helped. Not that I'm saying they're not helpful, but they're actually really helpful but she didn't know what it was. Um, and then I got another container of these little cherry tomatoes which is going to go into this quinoa and bean dish that I meant to make last week but I don't know why, I guess I made something else that night but that's going to go in that. And then I'm also going to put uh, some crumbled um, reduced fat feta on there. This is for rich sour cream since he's allergic to the uh, soy cream. I got another bag of chicken strips, chicken breast strips. And this is going to go, what am I going to do this? I'm going to put this, oh, I'm going to make a, a fried rice this week, kind of like a fried rice. And I actually made, I think that too in, in a video. And I'll, if I did, I'll put it below too so you guys can check that out. But I'm making fried rice one day. And then the other day I'm going to make a salad with like red onions and black beans and, and this and probably some salsa. So that'll be a couple of dinners. And then the last bag, just my water I was walking around the store with. Um, I got another bag of these soy crisps um, that I got last week and uh, to use for my um, spinach dip that I'll be making this week. But uh, these were so good really good so if you guys get a chance if you see them in your store uh go out and grab them this is just the regular sea salt kind and they have like barbecue they have like cheddar i think they have ranch but for 20 of these it's 110 calories 2.5 grams of fat um 12 grams of carbohydrates three grams of fiber and then nine grams of protein it was really good um i got a bag of romaine for uh the salad this week For that quinoa and bean salad, I got a um, bunch of cilantro. It's not, this is all not. This is not all going to go in there, but you know, I have to buy the whole bunch. Bag of cilantro, and then for the chicken salad that I'm going to make, uh, I got a red onion, and then for the quinoa and bean salad, I got a white onion. So that is it. That is all she wrote. Um, if anybody has any questions, just go ahead and shoot them down below. I hope this setup's okay because I'm using my camera on the tripod, tripod and I have a mirror behind it. So hopefully everybody saw everything okay. But uh, if anybody has any questions, just post them below. I will be back tomorrow for my update. And everybody have a great night. Bye.